There we go. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Key. This is Key's Plan Life. So it is December, the first week of December, which means we gotta go through this paycheck. Now, we do get paid three times in December. We get paid on the fifth, on the first, the fifteenth, and the 29th. If you see me looking down, I have notes literally everywhere. So, um, what I decided to do in this video is do a December budget a quick peek just so you'll know what we're working with with December and we're also going to get into our first paycheck of December as well so December's budget um, a quick peek our total income is $5,095 I want to fix it I want to make that okay by the time y'all see it it'll be fixed um, $5,095 is the total income coming in for that first paycheck uh, extra expected income is zero. Um, total bills and expenses is $2,411. Um, rent, they haven't let me know if they're going to increase the rent yet. So as of right now, I'm still having it at $978. Um, so um, just energy, we still have a credit on that. I think this will be the last month for the credit. Um, Xfinity Mobile two ninety one. The internet is seventy one dollars. Center point forty eight dollars. That bill never, for some reason, changes. It's always gonna fluctuate between forty eight and maybe fifty bucks. Um, Canva is fourteen dollars. Car insurance is two sixty nine. Capital One. All my credit cards. Capital One. Capital One Silver. Capital One Savoy. Mission Lane. All together, I'm putting 25 on each one of those cards. Y'all know I paid a minimum because they're not that much. Um, YouTube, $7. I think it's going up this month. I'm really not sure. But as of right now, it's $7. Household supplies, $50. Furniture, this is me paying this furniture off. I will never have to worry about it again. $3.98. Vacation, I'm going to put $100 towards our vacation. And then I'm putting $100 towards after pay. Um, cause although I don't, I'm not using Afterpay anymore, I still have to pay them what I owe them. So to do, the to-do list is to pay off the furniture, finally, pay on Afterpay, put something on vacation. Those are my three top things I need to do for this month. Um, the goals is to save minimal eating out. I cannot put no eating out because I will eat out maybe once a week, maybe once a week. Twice is pushing it, but definitely once a week. Um, and low buys, which I have been doing low buys. Um, savings for my savings for the joint, I plan on saving. I plan on saving a hundred for personal savings, two hundred and eighty-five for this month. Emergency and rainy, emergency slash rainy day fund is four hundred and twenty dollars this month. Christmas fund is five. $50 this month. So that leaves a total of $655. Now, the major money goal to save this month, last month you guys know that it was $600. This month is $800. So we're trying to save at least $800 this month. Now, let's get into this paycheck. Now, for all you guys that don't know, because I know y'all see me put my paycheck up here i just feel like that's more simpler um yes i do have it written down in a planner but um you know i don't know if you guys want to see my planner if you want to see how i plan everything financially in my planner leave a comment in the comment section and i'll make sure i'll, I'll start incorporating that in there um but just for paycheck by paycheck i normally just list everything that's getting paid for that paycheck on the side of the screen but I have no problem showing you guys how I set up my planner for each month um, how I make sure that everything is organized as far as bills need to be paid things that need to be done how I keep track of spending if you would like to see that leave a comment in the comment section and in the next video I will make sure that I incorporate that in the video um, first bi-weekly paycheck this is December 1st paycheck. 
uh, the paycheck, the money coming in all together. And this is me and my husband coming together on the bills. Um, I have a little more just because some of this stuff is my stuff. <laughs> so I have a little more, but this is us coming together and putting our dibs in on everything that needs to be taken care of. So the paycheck for this pay period was $2,410. The expenses were $1,283. Although I feel like that was wrong. I do. Let me see. I really do feel like that's yeah, I just did some awful math. I hate when my math ain't my math ain't mathing. Because rent is nine seventy eight plus after pay plus capital one and this other stuff. Cause I was like, what the hell? Okay, so we got it, y'all. It is actually the expenses this month is $1,783. The savings we plan on, put, we well, you know, plan, we have put away $430 out of this paycheck. I think that's pretty good um, considering our budget. Um, like I said, the goal this month is to put up $800. Um, as you can see, the rent is $978. Afterpay is $100. The credit cards, all four of them are $25 dollars a piece because y'all know I paid a minimum um apple products that that's the canva because I have everything set up through apple pay that's the canva that's the um youtube that's the um watches because they take the warranties from the watches out of there and something else I think those are the only four things that are coming out those two watches the insurance on those the canva and the um youtube but I just allocated $55 just in case I missed something, which I don't think I did. But it would be just a little extra in there. Because even if we don't use it for the Apple products, we might use it for something that needs to be for the house. So whatever's left over from that is fine. Um, myself, I am allocating myself $150. Just because <laughs> I um, bought my early Christmas gift, which was... Uh, a tablet so I will not be buying anything this month um, my joint sa savings is $25 y'all know we're paying a minimum on that until we get our rainy day fund I need at least three to six months worth of bills in this rainy day fund so until we have that there we, I can't even worry about the joint but I will put something in there um, Personal save oh rainy day is two hundred and ten. Personal savings is one forty, and y'all know my personal savings is like that because I am trying to get a cash car. Um, Christmas savings just twenty five. I have twenty five coming out of my check every month, so at the end of next year, that'll be all the money I'm using for my Christmas shopping. I do that early so I can get ahead of the game, so it will not be no stress on me. Plus, along with the Christmas savings that I have at the at the end. And plus my Christmas bonus, that'll be more than enough to cover Christmas gifts. So yeah, that is um our paycheck breakdown for the first for the first paycheck in December. We have two more to go. Like I said, if you guys want to see how I set up my planner, how I plan all the bills out, how I set it up for the what bills are due on what day, how I expense track and all that. Um I'm definitely willing to show you. I also want to show you guys I have incorporated and that's another reason I'm able to put so much more in uh, my rainy day fund and my personal because I have incorporated these two little templates. I don't know if you can see that. That's a $500 savings tracker and it's $5 a day. But since I get paid bi-weekly, I did it bi-weekly. So that's for two weeks, that's 90 bucks. And let's see. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Don't don't sit, don't do that. Don't tell me I'm underpaying myself now. Okay, so it's actually seventy dollars, but I always put a little additional in there, so I ran it off to ninety bucks. But it's really seventy dollars because it's the five dollar challenge. So then I have the um, rainy day challenge. It's fifteen dollars a day. 
So I need to get ready to mark that off. So when I put it in there every two weeks, I'm actually putting in 210 every two weeks from just um, my paycheck. So actually, I really feel like more than, hold on guys, we got to redo some numbers. So it's actually 310 going into the joint this time. There's 310 going into, into the paycheck. 310 coming from my paycheck this time for my joint. For, no, not for, yeah, for the rainy day. I want to make sure I fix that, y'all, because I don't want no problem. So, 310 is going in there because for my calculation, sometimes you, players mess up too now. Players mess up too. But for my calculations, if I'm doing a $15 challenge, 15 times 7 is 105, 7 days a week. So, 100, 105 plus 105 is 210. Plus, I already have an additional $100 coming out of my paycheck automatically going to my account every month. So, that's $310 that I'll be putting in my rainy day fund. So, that's just me trying to get further ahead. And it just works out better for me. Um... And hopefully, I'll be able to do this every pay period. Sometimes things happen and you're just not able to. But that the goal is to always stick to this. And if that means I have to pay myself less to take care of this, then that's what that means. Um, I'm really not doing no tripping. Because like I said, even with my nails, they need to be done right now. I'm going to do them here. Actually, that's part of my self-care Sunday. So, I'm doing it tomorrow. But I'll be doing my nails here. I have everything I need. The gel polishes, the UV lamps. I have all this. So I can really do my nails myself. I just be lazy. But if that means I have to sacrifice and do that to make sure that I meet my goals financially, then that's what that means. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get it together. Um, I, 2020, I said going into 2024, that was the year where... I'm more financially aware and I'm moving with a purpose. Like I don't have time for no games. I don't have time for no BS. I'm hitting the ground running. And like I said, I let go of Afterpay because although, you know, you can pay stuff in installments, that becomes addictive and you end up on those people all that money back. You get it right then, but you have to pay that every two weeks. So I don't want to do that anymore. I feel like if I can't save up for it, then I don't need it. And plus, y'all know me. I say it all the time. I literally have everything a girl could possibly ever want. Like, everything. I like every now and then get a pair of shoes. But for the most part, I literally have everything that a girl could want. My office is my dream office. I need nothing. <laughs> so it's no problem with me being able to save the money it's just when things are so accessible easily accessible to you you tend to be drawn to those things even if you don't need them so for me i know the best way for me is to cut off certain things and not make them so accessible so then it allows me to focus and be more in tune with my saving so that's where i am and plus i'm gonna but y'all i'm gonna be 43 next month and don't nobody have time to Continuously be in debt. I do not want to be 60 years old still in debt trying to figure it out. Now is the time. 2024 is the year of taking care of business. I will not be going on vacations with nobody. I will not be doing no extracurricular stuff. Don't get me wrong. We'll still have our date nights. And we'll be spending our money on things that we like to do, not what other people like to do. And we want to follow through, we'll follow through. If we feel like that's something fun or we deem it fun for us, then we'll follow through. But... I'm not moving on account of other people. We're not moving on account of other people. So we'll still have our date nights or our our day dates, but it'll be on our terms and we'll set the tone for that. So I'm not into trying to do what everybody else is doing because everybody else ain't paying these bills. We are. So, <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to think smart, spend smart, and have fun planning it out. out. And we will figure this out together. We're going to get these finances in order together. We're going to get these savings in order together. Um, a lot of you guys know that I have a certificate in business management and associates in human resource management. So this is stuff that I know. I just ain't been applying it to my life. And now I'm at the point where I'm applying it to my life because it's detrimental to 
to be able to retire at a certain age and not have to worry about money. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.